Death Stranding, the new game from Kojima that has broken the internet. And now that the hype has died down, I have to get something off my chest. This is going to be a quick one because honestly, ah, this game is really just not good. Uh, there's just not a game here, and that's really its main problem. I understand that this game is supposed to be different. It's supposed to be in a genre of its own, or at least that's kind of what Kojima wants it to be. But to be honest with you, I'm taking it as face value and for what it is playing it. And the game is just straight up boring. Like within the first 10 hours or 20 hours, that's your whole game. You can't just hide other gameplay along the way and just hope that the players stick with it because this isn't really like a foreign film that you feel more artsy for complaining or you can be better than someone just because you beat it. The game just has to be good kind of from the get-go otherwise you're going to lose your player's interest. My biggest qualm with this game is that it has the original No Man's Sky problem. As wide as an ocean and as deep as a puddle. The game world is huge and I understand that that's a big point of the game. You're supposed to be this eccentric UPS worker that's reconnecting America and fighting ghosts along the way but there's just no fun to be had I maybe I don't understand the game but playing 3d Jenga with stuff while carrying a weird fetus is it's just strange gameplay to me is I'm climbing over mountains things are raining on me and that's supposed to be the gameplay literally Breath of the Wild has the same gameplay in it but they understand to put other fun elements that people like playing and that brings me to another piece now i don't want to throw a lot of spoilers out here but really if you're playing this game you're playing it for the story and i'm just going to say this the story's not that good it's kind of confusing and strange along the way and your main character is rarely unlikable but i digress i'm here to talk about the gameplay and there's not that much of it you see after you're done walking and putting ladders and bridges down you really kind of discover the combat of the game. And I know it's not a combat focused game, but the combat is terrible. And because it's in the game, I have to judge it as so. Your three hit combo, your tackle, it just feels so clunky. And eventually when you get to the part where you can get a gun and shoot people, the controls are just terrible for that also. And so the other side of it, the gameplay is more about walking and traveling, which I understand. And there's moments where you get vehicles and you can drive over highways that you and other players build yourselves. But the controls for driving are just as bad as the shooting controls. And it forces you to stay on your robot feet suit walking around the world. And that brings me back to the game not being fun. It is kind of cool as you go around the world looking at clues that other players left you. And you yourself leave clues out there. And it has an original Demon Souls element to it. But... It just seems like that's a plan for the future. And that's why I talk about it like it is No Man's Sky. It has some strange roots where they had this grand vision of something, but they failed to follow through on a couple of other things. And that's a big problem to me. Along the way, as you travel as well, too, sometimes it plays licensed music from artists. And that kind of breaks the immersion for me because you're supposed to be this like desolate, wandering UPS guy. And having random tracks plays is just weird. And don't even get me started about the random product placement like the Monster Energy drinks and Norman Reedus' show. It just kind of seems that like Hideo Kojima understood that this was his first game coming out of the studio and he needed to fund it in other ways. Otherwise, the game was going to get canceled because one someone somewhere was playing this game was like, dude, this sucks. I don't want to give you funding. And he's like, all right, Monster, hook us up. So ultimately, what am I trying to say? The game has some okay roots and the world is awesome. There's so much detail in the landscapes and as you climb, it's very cool. But the gameplay as a whole just is boring. It's It sucks, dude. I'm sorry. I know there's people out there that are going to like this game for some reason, but I just think it sucks. It has a very bare bone gameplay. Walking around nowadays just isn't fun. There's so many games I can walk around in. You can have more fun walking around in Red Dead Redemption 2 because that game has physics also, and it's just as beautiful. But the game has other elements of it that add to it and make it fun. Walking around is just not fun. So should you get this game? Honestly, I can't recommend it. And it's just because the gameplay loop itself isn't fun. And when you come to play a game, it's all about fun. 
I know it's trying to tell a story, and I think about games like Heavy Rain and Indigo Prophecy. They were just trying to tell a story, and the gameplay was secondary, but the gameplay wasn't boring. It was there because of the story. Death Stranding has a story and boring gameplay to pad, I don't know, runtime or something. So that's it. I really don't have much else to say about this game because there's just not much to be said, man. You're just walking around, and there's some spirits and ghosts, and the story's only subpar. So... $60, thumbs down for that. Wait for a sale. I know it's a PlayStation exclusive right now, so it may not go on sale for a very long time, but I'm telling you to wait on this game. You'll probably be mad for $60. Other than that, I'm not going to give it a review. I don't really do that, but let me know what you think about it. Other than that, thanks for stopping by. Once again, I'm Rob from DLC, and I will see you in the next video.